Kaylin, yeah, after the so after the last uh, few weeks you've been through, just kind of uh, to have a game like this, to have a win like this, what does it mean for you? What does it mean for the team? It definitely feels, you know, good to get the win, like no matter how it looks, you know. Um, all the grind, all the effort, um, like you said, last couple of weeks and uh, even this week, um, I'm just proud of how our team responded and proud of how we went about uh, practice and um, not losing the level of intensity and the level of focus. So I'm definitely proud for our team and I'm definitely proud for our coaching staff uh, just on the detail and um, everything that showed, it showed today. Matt, thing goes down at the end of the first half. You come in in the second half. What's going through your mind there in that first drive? Just pick up where he started, you know, because it was definitely electric first half, and I just wanted to, you know, pick up where he started like he did for me, you know. I just, it's just, it's a team sport, you know. Um, I know he has my back, and I know uh, I have his back, and just the camaraderie and the brotherhood that we have and the relationship we share is definitely special. And, like he was laughing with me um, when I scored, and he was, and I was laughing with him uh, when he scored. So um, definitely um, a sad event, but I know he has my back, and like I said, I'm. I know uh, I have his back, too. Kevin, I think over the last month or so, maybe who's the starter, this has kind of been a, a formality, but you have started the last 19 straight games for this program, and you didn't get to start tonight. Like, uh, just, how do you, how do you uh, what was your response to the situation, and, and how did you handle it? For sure. You know, being a competitor, you know, it was, it was a little tough, you know, to be honest, you know, it was a little tough to, tough to follow, but, I mean, if it's best for the team, it's best for the team. Uh, I mean, to get anything for the win. I mean, if it looks pretty, if it looks rough, if, if we come out the win, the joy we have in the locker room, throwing water bottles, um, and all that work, like I said, from from this week in practice, it, it makes it all worth it. So honestly, it's just doing whatever it takes to get that win um, on Saturday. How do you feel like you played tonight? I feel like I, uh, I played de decent. Still a lot of stuff I can improve on. Um, definitely. Um, you know, Bush is going to tell me, especially in the film room. So he's he's real tough. So um, definitely uh, not not satisfied, not satisfied with how I played, but you know, still um, feels good. You know, just to get the dub. I feel like when you uh, <clears throat> take off the run these days and you know, off, you, it seems like you're running a little pissed off. I would say uh, lowering your lowering your pads at the goal line. Um, would, would you say that that's the case? I would say we practice on it. Um, that was a really big emphasis uh, for me because you know I'm so tall, so you know just getting hit, I gotta be, I gotta be low to absorb the hits and stuff like that. And you know that's a couple of times you know I hurdle because they gonna take my ankles out, take my legs out. So I just gotta remind them, you know, just to you gotta be careful, you know. So that was definitely a big emphasis on um, our Wednesday practice. Our coach um, put like a like a pipe and we gotta run through it. I'm like, coach, I'm almost about to hit it. So it was definitely a Definitely an emphasis um, with the Ave and Bush of, you know, just lowering my pads and um, just running through contact. There's been, I, I don't know if this is accurate or not, but there's, it seems like there's been a lot of tinkering with uh, the two quarterback system. And in the first half before Maddox went down tonight, it seemed like you guys finally, uh, you know, had that balance right. Is that kind of what your thought was? I mean, you guys were both having great plays. And then, uh, then in the second half, you know, what was your mindset to just kind of continue that, you know, knowing that you had to be the guy? I would say uh, going going to the games, depending on how they play us, you know, um, if they play us run run heavy or they play us pass heavy, you know, just um, just adjusting to it because that's what we go go into it because we really don't really know what it's exactly going to look like, but that's what I'm really proud of, you know, how me and Max is you know taking this, we're supporting each other all the way. Like if he's in, I'm right there when I'm looking at the calls and I'm just telling them. Um, a couple of stuff, and he's doing the same for me. So uh, I would say um, definitely, definitely really uh, proud of, you know, how both of us are handling, not just me, but him too, you know. Kaelin, you talked about you being a competitor. You know, last week, you know, you get pulled out for one snap and then, you know, turn the ball over, you're just kind of done. I mean, how mentally, how do you kind of keep yourself just in the game after those, those tough moments? Um, to be honest, um, I pray a lot. You know, I just – just pray and just keep my mind right because that's where it all starts, you know. Um, my, I'm a big believer in my faith. I'm a big believer, and that's my foundation, you know. Uh, it's definitely been hard, but, you know, um, that's what I rely on is my faith and uh, just God's plan at the end of the day. And, and, of course, you know, my teammates and my coaches, you know, I just want to be there for them. I want to be in the right mindset for them and for God because he's blessed me with 
talents and the ability just to put on the platform on the blue, especially with the night game, blue lights, you know, this is it's definitely a special place, you know. Did you hear from uh, Katie on, on that one of the lead blocks for the touchdown? I know she kind of helped set that thing up, but what, what was the key to his, his effort? And what do you think his overall impact he's trying to make on your offense? I would say it's, it's, in, it's increasing, you know. Um, I'm really close with him, and, you know, he's getting his opportunity, and that's what I really like. I mean, everybody's getting their opportunity. You know, Prince, Austin Bolt, um, they're, and they're making the most of it, and that's why I like, you know, um, it all started January. It started a fall camp, and big a big emphasis was uh, developing de dependable depth. You know, and I feel like um, they did a great job. You know, KD on my run and um, when he got the jet sweep. Um, so he's just doing doing a really good job on the role he is, and as you can see, it's, it's paying off. And I told him on the kick return, he's going he's gonna to break one. He's going to break one. I told him, too. So. With regards to Prince and Austin, uh, you know, Prince having the breakout game that, you know, kind of I think fans have been waiting to see. Austin you know, having that, that long catch to get you on the board, you know, just kind of what's the how, – how dynamic can uh, they both be for you guys now that they get the, the opportunity? I think uh, everybody saw it today. I mean, a lot of people don't see what they do in the shadows, you know, of Austin getting hurt and coming back and doing all the physical therapy and all the things you have to do to even get ready for today's game, you know. And with Prince, you know, being so young and just having his role just be increased from this from this week, you know, the preparation that he comes with and the preparation that and practicing the intent, you know, I was I was just glad that he they was able to display it today of the preparation, all the blood, sweat and tears that go that go with it. I thought that throw to Billy on the sideline was pretty sweet. Did you kind of see what you think of that throw that you made to him and the catch that he was able to make there? I would say that was timing. That was our chemistry going back to fall camp and going back to when we were working out in Cali. Uh, when when we went there, we were doing that same route. Uh, so I bet that was pretty cool. Uh, I, I looked to uh, Colton, uh, CJ, and I just started smiling because, like, it's, it's crazy just um, – just having that chemistry and just enjoying it, you know, just having fun, you know, just having fun out there, you know. Like I say all the time, if you're not having fun, then what are you, what are you doing it for? You know, because it's a game, but at the same time, it's still a job, so it's a balance. So. Anything else? All right, thank you.